In the death of a 19 year old football player who was killed by a malfunctioning elevator in a high rise Atlanta building. State inspectors are looking into this tragedy today. Channel 2's Tom Jones got perspective from the victim's coach who was there when that 911 call was made. Yeah, those 911 calls are so graphic and gut wrenching. We are only playing the ones that add news value to this story. The property manager here says there were 16 athletes on that elevator at the time of this incident. One 911 call disputes that. Atlanta police was suggesting yeah, my Atlanta 911 received several frantic calls from people inside the 444 Highland Avenue apartment high rise Tuesday afternoon. One caller described the horrific scene. The elevator just smashed on these football players and they need somebody up here on the third floor. The fire department says an elevator pinned 19 year old champion prep academy football player Jamarcus McFarland between the second and third floor. He was barely alive. His coach Sean Tarrant raced to the scene and spoke to the trap McFarland. I just told him just hey man just hold on see it through man. To see it through and he looked at me and he shaked his head a little bit. McFarland died later at the hospital. Residents of the high rise say they complained about the elevator malfunctioning. The manager of the property sent me a statement that said the weight capacity of the elevator is 3,000 pounds. Nathan Phillips says there were 16 athletes in the elevator pushing the weight to nearly 4,000 pounds. He said that caused a domino effect leading to McFarland's death. One of McFarland's teammates stuck on the elevator told 911 there weren't that many athletes inside. All right, how many people are in the elevator? Uh, about like nine of us, ten of us. His mom is not holding up real. Coach Terrence says this has been hard on McFarland's family, his teammates, and for him. She sent her son to me. And you know, that, that, that's what I'm dealing with, really. The fire department says this incident was captured on video, so at some point we will see how many people were on that elevator. Meanwhile, the McFarland family is having a difficult time getting his body back to Missouri, where he is from. Go to our website, WSBTV.com, to see how you can contribute to a GoFundMe account that's been set up. Reporting from Northeast Atlanta, Tom Jones, Channel 2 Action.